All right, you asked for it. This is the color chart for blue eyes. As you can see, the complementary colors are going to be a lighter blue, almost like an icy blue, almost a gray blue, some definitely neutral blues, and then you have dark navies, even black. Then your intensifying colors are gonna be light brown all the way into a deeper brown. Dark browns are beautiful with blue eyes. You should always try to incorporate them into your eyeshadow looks. Are clear. So when you put them on your skin, you cannot tell that there is a color. It's just sheen. Do you see? This is what you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna put my concealer on and then blend it with the fingertip applicator that comes on the end of the Shiseido brush. Just like patting it on with your fingers. Okay. The texture of the applicator on your skin is actually kind of like a finger. It's a little bit sticky. No pump on the foundation using a sponge. I'm back. It's 2004. This is great. This is the exact look that I would do nonstop. Just picture it. It's 2012. I'm working at Sephora. A NARS artist does this exact look on me for a demo. And I was like, well, that's it. That's just perfection. I can't not do this. I would wear this to church, to work, no lip, a little furrowed brow, try to be as high fashion and cool as possible. So I don't like a super powdery finish. I like my skin to look very natural. So I just take it with a powder brush, can put it under your eyes, anywhere. It's just going to mattify. I love this eye look for green eyes. It is definitely my go-to. The first step is to take a neutral shadow, blend through your crease and on the bottom of your lash line. Then taking a burgundy shade, I'm placing it here on the outer corners of my eye, blending through my crease and right underneath my lash line. I'm really concentrating that color here on the outer portion of my eye so it gives me that great pop and that intensifying shade without it being too overpowering for the daytime. Now I'm taking a burgundy eyeliner. Go ahead and trace your top and bottom lash line, but keep it very, very close to your lashes. That's going to give you that smoky feel, but it's also going to give you that great contrast for your green eyes. It's really going to make them pop. Go ahead and add mascara. Touch up with just a little bit of brightening concealer. Add a neutral lip of your choice and you are done. This is my go-to look for green eyes. What do you think? This glowing skin hack works every single time and it's so easy. Just take your illuminator. You can use any illuminator. I'm using the High Beam from Benefit. Then take any cream blush and your foundation brush and just blend them together. I blend out the bottom just to make it seamless. You guys are in love with this lip color and let me tell you, so am I. I just start with something hydrating. You can use a chapstick if that's what you have. And then I take this Shiseido lip balm. It's the perfect nude color for my very small lips. And then I take a nude lip liner. I line all the way around, touch up with a little concealer. This is my favorite, the Shiseido lip balm in the color Juniper. Cream bronzer hack to get gorgeous glowing skin this summer. Mix your cream bronzer and your favorite foundation on the back of your hand. These two together create the perfect bronzy glow. So I just place it all over my face like I would a normal foundation. Look at how my skin glows already. It's just incredible. That's my favorite new hack. I'm in love with it. I was also extremely confused about the texture. So when you get the ordinary mandelic acid, it is like... I really don't know how to describe it. It's like water, pretty much. It's that thin. It doesn't have the consistency of a serum or something. Yeah. So. What I do is I just take a whole bunch of it and right after I cleanse, I just slather it on. And I really massage it in because I wanna make sure that it gets all those little bumps, those little blackheads, all those things that I just could never clear before. This clears it. So if you want clear, like your pores just becoming so clear, just everything just being cleaned out of you, this is it. This is the one. How to get Hailey Bieber's signature tan glossy eyeshadow. Take any cream bronzer you have. With a small brush, apply to your crease. Blend over your entire eyelid up into your hairline. Taking a cool tone matte eyeshadow, place that all over your eyelid. Remember not to add any eyeliner and tons of mascara. Look at that. 
step-by-step -step easy girls night out look let's do it start with any color eyeliner i chose brown because it's very easily blendable and it just gives you a very nice blown out smoky eye so i'm creating a v shape on my top lid starting from my lash line and into my crease lining my bottom lashes three quarters of the way and then blending them out now taking a gray eyeshadow, I'm placing that right on top of my eye line and blending it out to create a nice smoky effect. Line your inner rim and you're done. Taking my makeup from day to night in one step. Using a very small precise eye brush, take a matte brown shadow and place it right under your lash line. Now taking a matte black eyeshadow, go ahead and coat your lashes with that shadow right into your inner rim. Add a slight wing, blend it out. And don't forget the inner corner. And that's it. Smoky eyes. Asking for the most flattering eyeshadows for brown eyes. And this one might surprise you. Now I asked my Instagram followers, what eyeshadow do you like to use that is the most flattering for your unique eye color? All of my brown eyed people said, olive. Olive eyeshadow. There is no mention of green for brown eyes in the book that I always share with you guys that has all of the eye color charts. So I'm going to show you kind of what this looks like on the eye today. Even though I don't have brown eyes, I really enjoy this color on myself as well. Now what you can do is just a light wash of color. If you like, if green is not really something that you're interested in, but something that I like about this specific color is that it's matte and that it's almost like a camo green. I love this color. I bought this color specifically because I thought it was so unique and I knew I had nothing else like it. I think it is so cool. Now I know that everybody is different so I'm going to ask you as well comment below your eye color and your favorite color to wear with your eyes that you think is the most flattering. This is one of my favorite fun liners for green eyes. Starting with a vibrant purple liner I take a small brush and I just blend it out. You can see the difference here. You can leave it quite harsh, but I really like it nice and blown out. Then I take a vibrant pink shimmer shade and I place that right over top, really close to my lash line. It adds such a pop for your green eyes. It is so gorgeous and fun. I bought this shadow because it was unique. I bought it because I thought that it was super cool and I had nothing else like it. And I'm also a huge fan of camo. So this is the MAC Cosmetics single eyeshadow in the color Mo Money Mo Problems. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that you can wear it with anything really. And look, it, just, it is so cool. It is so cool. And that's why you always see me wearing it. It's amazing. I'm doing a full face using just a concealer foundation palette from RCMA. I'm gonna show you, it's so easy. You can start with a moisturizer or your primer, whatever you like. Then I'm taking my contour color. And really, let's be honest, I don't contour but I do bronze a lot and I like to make sure that I bronze like very high on my cheekbones and on the top of my forehead because I really like to get a beautiful glow. Like I wanna look like I've been out in the sun. All right, so I'm going to take just a bit of almost like concealer and this is just gonna brighten a little bit. Oh yeah. So I mix two, three shades, just depending on the look that I'm going for. Then going in with a shade that's a bit lighter and I'm just gonna place it right under here again. I'm going to take this Stands Out Bridal Glow Spray. Look at this luminosity. It's literally champagne. I'm gonna shake it up. Oh, so glowy, so beautiful. Then I'm taking my Stands Out Beauty Sponge and I'm going to start blending one sponge, one, one sponge. Did all of that. I never really reached for this product before. This is the Shiseido Aura Dew in the color Solar. And I'm applying it with the Shiseido eyeshadow brush. And the I just can't believe like how beautiful and glittery it is. I think it's going to be perfect for the Christmas season. I put it over the lips to create a beautiful 90s frosted look. And I love it. This is for my oblong face people. People with very long, narrow faces. I know the trend is to contour here, right at your temple to contour here, and then of course contour here on your cheekbones. I can truly advise against that for specifically oblong people or people with very thin, narrow faces. If you have a narrow temple here where you can see that is a hollow area for me, you are contouring there. You are going to make your temple and your eyes look very sunken. That's going to age you like nobody's business. Because we have narrow faces, we want to really add volume to the face. Make sure you're maybe not contouring as much as people with a rounder face and try placing blush or highlight here and here just for a little pop. 
These eyeshadow shades are universally flattering for any eye color. I find they make you look very effortless, super grungy. They're very easy to wear. I'm wearing all three today. Love them.